can't happen. What's up, people? I'm back. And I know it's been a hot, hot minute, but that's gonna be the discussion for another day. Today, we're gonna unbox my new 2020 13 inch MacBook Pro. I got it today, and my dad opened the box. I was kind of upset, but it's okay. I didn't open the whole thing. Let's get started. I've been waiting a whole last week for this, and I just couldn't wait. I even had it in express shipping. This was supposed to come like next week. That was the expected shipping time, and it came today. So, <laughs> I'm so excited. So this one's the 2015 MacBook Pro, 13 inch as well. And as you can see, it has seen better days and it's been bugging me so much like i can't even see where the wi-fi is the bluetooth and the battery level so she has to go now and she's being replaced by this bad boy i'm not really familiar with um specs i'm not tech savvy but i got mostly the base model so the entry level specs so here is the price breakdown based on the specs that i got for my 13 inch macbook pro so immediately i chose the very first option and this one has 1.4 gigahertz quad core eighth generation intel core i5 processor it has eight gigabytes of ram memory and i upgraded the ssd storage from 256 gigabytes to a terabyte um, I also got the Pro Apps Education Bundle, which has Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro X, Motion Compressor, Main Stage 3. Because this one is a back to school promo, it came with free AirPods, um, but you can upgrade it to the second generation or AirPods Pro for just an extra charge. And also, I purchased uh three years of apple care plus just in case something happens we don't want to risk that after estimating tax it came up to two thousand nine hundred and one dollars and 83 cents in canadian dollars and they have switched back into the scissor keys so it's a magic keyboard um just like the older ones because their 2018 or 2019 models still had the butterfly keys and everyone had a problem with that like i have friends who have those versions and i wasn't a big fan of like those black keys so i'm really happy they changed it back to the scissor keys i also bought the education bundle i mostly got it for final cut pro because i know it's my free subscription for adobe creative cloud soon because i'm graduating this year next year I'm gonna lose that and I just thought Final Cut Pro is cheaper when you think about it because it's just a one-time payment whereas Creative Cloud you have to pay every month I just wanted to get in and mention that getting Final Cut Pro alone is a lot more expensive than getting it in the bundle with the bundle you're saving $599 like that's a lot um, getting it alone is like $400 almost, whereas the bundle was only $260, so that says a lot. I'm still more onto Premiere because I've been using that since high school. And it's also like Adobe is like the go-to program for like most creative industries and that's kind of where I'm headed off for my career. So I don't know, we'll see. But for now, I'm gonna rely on Final Cut and should we unbox this now? I'm saying so much. Okay, we're gonna start the unboxing because I don't know what else I have to say. Okay, <laughs> let's do this. They made it like so much easier to open with this tab here. Ooh. Oh God, it's just gonna slip. <laughs> I'm even having a hard time doing that. Okay, slip the condom off. Classy. And now it's open. Slight change of angles so you can see what I'm opening. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, I watched so many unboxings before even doing this, and they always smell the product. 
I'm not sure why. I don't smell anything. Okay. Oh my god. I got this in space gray because my old one is in silver. Well, you can't even see it because I have the cover on. But here it is. I'm so excited. And then there's another tab here. I can't. There you go. They also removed the backlit Apple logo. So now it's just kind of like a reflector type of thing. Here's like the rest of the box. There's not much, which is like every Apple product. So I got the new USB-C charger, the instruction manual, and I believe there are two stickers here. We got the dark version right there. And this is the cube. Yeah, the charging cube. So let's return that. Here it is. All right, let's open it up. There it is. Oh my God. And she booted up. I'm planning to set this up as a new MacBook because mine is really messy right now. Like, as you can see. Use English is the main language. Press the return key. Look at that. Look how messy my desktop looks. The trackpad is like a lot bigger than the old one. And this one's a lot lighter. This one's so heavy. It's chunkier and heavier. You probably, I don't know if you want to see my setup though. So English. Press the escape key. And I'm gonna connect to my Wi-Fi. I have my password in my photos. I'm gonna pull that up for a bit. I don't know if setting it up is like exciting to some people. I love this. I love the keyboard. <laughs> I love the sound of like very like loud keyboards. But then I'm gonna cover it up because I'm gonna put a sleeve on it that came with the cover I got. <laughs> so don't transfer information. See, I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna do the migration thing. What's my app ID? I hope this doesn't connect straight to iCloud or like it doesn't sync up because I don't want that to happen. So now it just connected to my phone so it, ver it can verify it. And I was just showing, just showing the terms and conditions agree I'm not gonna read that this is just the computer account so your user account on the macbook itself oh my god it's connecting to icloud i just hope it doesn't like sync up my files because i really don't want <laughs> i really don't want it to sync up and there's a touch bar too as you can see While we're here and waiting for that to set up, I'm gonna show you guys the accessories I got. These are all from Amazon and I got it a day after I ordered it. So first I got the MagSafe adapter for the charger because I'm a very clumsy person. That's what I'm gonna miss about this one. Aside from like all the ports that are gonna be missing in the new one, I'm gonna miss the magnetic um, charger. So that's why I got this one. So then when I kind of just yank, I can kind of just yank it off without worrying about um, breaking the charger. And then I got obviously a hub because then I won't be able to work on anything without it. So it has like two USB ports, a micro SD, an SD, and an HDMI port. Hold up. So now it's asking to set up the find my device. Thing, express setup, analytics, all the boring shit. So don't need to know about that. Screen time, Siri. Hey Siri. Oh god. Now it's triggering my phone. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. Let me switch this off. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, open the documents folder. Hey Siri, show my downloads. Hey Siri, what does the rest of my day look like? <laughs> okay, Siri is set up. 
store files from documents and desktop in iCloud. We don't want that, so we're not going to do that. Store photos and videos in iCloud, we're not going to do that either. It's such a hassle using iCloud to be honest. File vault disk encryption. Oh my god, and now I can set up my Touch ID. That's a new feature from the last two versions, I think. They separated the Touch ID from the Touch Bar and the escape button is separate as well, just like the older ones. So we're gonna set this up. Oh my god, it's done. Add credit debit. We'll set that up later, we don't need to do that now. So it's asking if I want it in light mode or dark mode. We're gonna do it auto. So in the morning it's in light mode and at night it's dark mode. I'm so happy I have it now because this one is just messing up my game. Also, I work from home now, so it's kind of difficult with like if I'm training people and like this chunk of the screen you can't even see. So like all of my windows are kind of pushed back into the left side and I kind of just have to explain it to them all the time. And that's so embarrassing. I was waiting for the back to school promo because I was expecting free be free beats, but this year they decided to give away free AirPods and I have AirPods already and I really wanted those Beats headphones, but it's okay. I'm just gonna keep it for now. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my extra AirPods. I might just sell it, we'll see. This is the True Tone display. Continue. It's setting it up now. Is it done? Oh my god, it's done. Okay, here's what it looks like. I'm gonna show you guys more of the other shit later, but I'm gonna, I'm also gonna show you right now. This is the last part of the accessories that I got. So I got a case for it, it's a hard case. It's in the color Serenity Blue. And I'm, oh my god, they're talking upstairs, it's so loud. I'm gonna put the link in the description. So it came with a microfiber cloth, a screen protector, and a pouch for the charger, and also a keyboard cover. So I'm kind of excited to open it out. I'm going to put it in now because I don't want any more fingerprints on it. So let's do that. Oh my god. Ow. <laughs> that hurt. The one thing about putting a case though is it gets like marks on it, but I'm fine with it. Um, I want to show you the dent that, do you see that dent over there? So this fell on concrete because it was in my bag and I didn't have it inside the sleeve. Out of all the times that it had to happen, it had to happen that, that day. But here's how thick it is in comparison. For my old one, I'm planning to get the screen um, fixed and then just kind of sell it on eBay or something or Kijiji because it's still it functions really well it still boots up pretty fast obviously the battery life is like a lot lower now so that's what we're gonna do um, I'm gonna have this replaced because it's still like functioning pretty well it's just a screen that's broken um, okay let's finish this up <laughs> I'm all over the place. I'm I like I've been waiting for this for the past week, and this is like a very ex exciting moment for me. Let's put this in. Hopefully, it fits. Oh, also, I didn't even know this was a 2020 version until I started watching unboxings. Like I saw, they titled it 2020 MacBook Pro, because. Because of the quarantine, like there wasn't like a lot of promotions, like it wasn't a hype, you know what I mean? So like when the back to school promo came back in, I was just like, okay, it's time to buy. I survived with this broken screen for like five months, this broken like um, February. But I was like patient enough to wait. So I did, cause I really wanted the free beats. Um, but it's okay because it was discounted plus it had a free it had free airpods so why not yeah and this one was released like two months or one month ago and i didn't even know that oh god why am i having a hard time opening this up and i'm also gonna let you know if 
the hubs work as well. Just so I'm not linking um, products that don't work. And but I made sure to check the reviews, so hopefully that's fine. I really like this color, it's really pretty. It's a lot more like a lavender-ish than I thought. Okay. I don't even know where the front is. Okay, the top fit perfectly. So it fit pretty perfectly. So here it is. Oh my God, no more handprints on it. I'm gonna put on the screen protector off camera because there's no point setting it up right now. But I'm so excited to customize this. I'm gonna do a full one week review as well as a setup slash customization video maybe because that's like what, what a lot of people are doing. So I kind of want to do that for mine too. And yeah, hopefully I see you soon and make a new video. I haven't been, I think my last video was all the way in December. So my last Vlogmas video. I, and I even filmed like the first um, few weeks of January. I was so ready to edit the clips, but then this one broke. So I lost motivation. I couldn't, like if I couldn't see like the whole screen, what was the point, you know? But now I have this, a new software to work on. Perfect. I'm gonna see you guys on the next video, hopefully soon. Um, I wanna aim for like two weeks from now. I'm not gonna be ambitious and say next week, but I'll see you guys. Thanks for watching.